Rural Settlement Places where most of the population carries out occupations which relate to local natural resources are called rural settlements. Example, settlements of fishermen along the sea coast, settlements of tribal people in forest areas, settlement of farmers along the banks of rivers. Now, what are the characteristics of rural settlement? The population density is low. Majority of the people are engaged in primary occupation like agriculture, collecting forest products, fishing, etc. Facilities of transport and communication are limited. Services like banking, finance, real estate, postal are limited. There are weekly markets and a few permanent shops. Open spaces are available around the house. House plans are old and traditional. Development of urban settlements. In rural settlements, allied occupations grow along with the main occupations. This leads to the growth of job opportunities. People migrate to such places for jobs which lead to an increase in population. This further leads to the development of a number of services like transport, hospitals, administrative offices, banks, markets, hotels, shops, communications, etc. As secondary and tertiary occupations increase, the primary occupations decline and gradually rural area gets transformed into an urban settlement. Such transformation may take place due to religious importance, for example, churches, mosque, temple, historical importance, for example, Agra and Delhi, increase in trade, for example, ports like Mumbai and Vishakapatnam, good educational facilities, for example, Pune, development of tourism, for example, Goa and Kerala, causes of urbanization, development of secondary and tertiary occupations supporting the primary occupations, increase in employment opportunities, migration of people from the surrounding areas and increase in the population. Some of the main features of urban settlements are Population density is high. Most of the people are engaged in secondary and tertiary occupations. A network of modern transport and communication facilities is available in large numbers. Various types of services like banking, finance, water supply, electricity, natural gas are available. There are permanent and varied types of markets. Due to scarcity of space, houses are close together and are multi-storied. Open spaces around the houses are very limited. House plans are modern. Effects of urbanization 1. Rapid increase in population 2. Development of service sector for providing services to the increasing population. Example, centers of entertainment educational institutes, etc. 3. Availability of modern means of transport and communication increases. The lifestyle becomes more dynamic. Problems of urbanization 1. Due to the increase in population, the stress on public facilities like health, electricity, water supply, law and order machinery increases. 2. Increase in number of vehicles leads to traffic problems, air and noise pollution. 3. Land becomes expensive due to scarcity of residential dwellings. 4. A large section of the migrants coming to the urban area belongs to low or very low income groups. This gives rise to the development of slums in large urban centers. 5. Inadequacy of jobs because of increasing population leads to unemployment and this results in the increase in crimes like robbery, murders, 
antisocial activities, etc. These problems are particularly witnessed in large metropolitan cities like Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, etc.